Hello my YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. So this is my first video of 2021. I know that 2020 has been a very tough year for most of us and here I just want to wish everybody a safe, healthy and very happy 2021. Um, although I spent most of my time staying at home in 2020, I was able to score my first Hermes handbag, which is this mini Constance here, and also my first uh, Hermes Birkin in 2020. So I still like feel super lucky to have like you know like this bag in my collection. Um, and overall, like 2020 has been a huge year uh, in terms of my in terms of my handbag collection. And I know like most of us are already aware of the 20% price increase for Chanel again at the end of 2020. And I thought maybe I should just do a comparison video between Chanel and Hermes um, so that you can kind of get a better understanding of its price point, functionality of its handbag, and whether those bags can be considered as a good investment piece. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, I'm sure it's no surprise for us that luxury brands such as uh, Chanel will have price increase pretty much every single year. Sometimes they have price increase twice a year. <laughs> so it's pretty ridiculous. Um, take like the classic flap in the medium size as an example. So this bag that I own here is actually like a, a pre-loved one. I bought it in the secondhand market when I visit Japan. So this is, this was actually a pretty good bargain. But I remember in 2018, I went to, when I went to Europe in Dublin, I bought a medium sized classic flag for my friend. And I still remember like retail price was around like 5,000 uh, US dollar. But when I checked the price before I start filming this video today, I'm going to link the picture um, here too. So the retail price for the medium sized classic flap is now $6,500. So it's like there is a, a $1,500 increase from like 2018 to 2020. It's quite a big price increase for like, you know, a classic flap like Chanel um, CF. So I was like quite shocked. I was, I thought to myself, like, is it true that this is such a great investment piece that once you buy the bag, you're just going to watch its price to increase every single year. Uh, granted, there's inflation and other factors like that, but I'm still like super impressed by like the you know the re the rate of price increase for Chanel Classic Lab. However, if you look at you know um, the boy bag from Chanel, so this I also bought it uh, in 28, uh, 2018. I think this is I rewarded myself a classic boy bag. Because I thought this is also considered a pretty classic um, design for Chanel. However, I think when I checked the price for the classic boy, it's only you know like forty six hundred dollars U.S. dollars. I don't think they have a price increase for Chanel boy bag this year. Um, when I bought it in twenty eighteen, I think it was retail at four thousand U.S. dollar. So there's only like six hundred dollar price increase for the small size uh, Le Boy. So comparing the Le Boy and the classic flap, I guess if you want to like look at it from like an investment perspective, the Chanel classic flap is definitely a better investment piece because um, I think this is the most classic design from Chanel and you consistently see like price increase a super crazy ones every single year. So if I were to choose between these two designs, I would definitely recommend the classic flap from Chanel. All right. So with this 6,500 price point, you might start to wonder, it's so expensive. Why don't I just use this money to buy an Hermes bag? And I know like um, a lot of people still don't know what's the retail price for different Hermes bags. So I'm just going to share what I know here. Um, so for the Hermes Birkin, so mine is Birkin 25 in the Togo leather. So please note for uh, Hermes bag, like its price point will vary based on like the leather. Um, I think like the color of the hardware doesn't really matter. So for whether it's silver or like gold hardware or rose gold hardware, it doesn't really matter. So the price point is the same. Um, but for 
the leather, it does play a role in determining like the price of your Birkin bag. So uh, for Togo leather, I believe this is the, the most inexpensive bag <laughs> or leather. Um, it's retail at 9,650 US dollar when I bought it. I think they didn't really increase the price uh, in 2020. I'm not sure whether they're going to do that in 2021, but it's a little bit below 10K. Um, but if you were to purchase, you know, like a Swift leather bag, it's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more expensive, probably a little bit above like the 10K uh, price point. So this is my, you know, um, Hermes Birkin 25. I absolutely love this bag. I love the design, like how, how handy it is because like you don't really have to close the flap like the Kelly bag. So, and then it also gives you a very, very casual vibe when you carry this bag with you. And I love like the three graces trilly that I matched with my Birkin 25. And if you're interested in how I score this Birkin 25 from um, the Hawaii Hermes store, please leave your comment down below and maybe I will film a video about that. All right. So moving on to my first Hermes bag. So this is um, the Constance Mini in gold color with uh, silver hardware. So this bag, again, like for Constance, I believe the price point also varies based on the leather. Um, Epson leather is the most popular leather when it comes to like uh, Constance bag because it's more structured and uh, so the bag will hold its shape better. Um, so for Epson leather, I think it's like retail at $7,750. Um, I think this is the cheapest uh, leather of all the Constance leathers I've seen so far. Um, for Evercolor leather, I believe it's retail at $8,300. Uh, so for other leathers like Swift leather, it's maybe beyond like the 9,000 price point. So if you really compare between, you know, um, this Constance and Birkin 25, you wouldn't see too much of a, a price difference. Um, I think they're very close to each other. But if you were to, you know, sell it in the second hand market, I think um, Birkin 25 would definitely hold its value a way better compared to the Constance bag. Um, because it's just like really hard to get or to score a Birkin uh, from the store versus a Constance. Alright, so after hearing all the price points, now you will see um, the price for, you know, Chanel Classic Flap. It's very similar to the price point of, you know, a, a Hermes Constance bag. So if you look at them like side by side, you see the uh, classic flap in the medium size is actually like way bigger and it's also like double strapped for both bags so for um constance if you watch my other video you know that you can make it double strap so when you want to you know carry it on the side on your shoulder it's pretty easy to do so and let me quickly also show you how the classic flap looks on me so you can also wear it double strap for the classic flap in the medium size and I think it's just like very feminine looking bag um, for both of them if you were to wear them double strap.